brought you something to read. Well, I'll finish this. What is it? Ah, oh, it's just something for Zoe. She wants me to get a publicity package for her business together. I hope you're not overdoing it, son. There. What do you think of that? Not bad. Not bad at all. I've done a press release and a layout for some posters. I mean, what do you think about trying to get her an interview on local radio? Tied in with the Heritage Farm as a holiday item. Oh, that's up to Zoe. You're going to have to wait a bit. The only local news the media's interested in at the moment is the inquest. I thought I'd call in and see you on the way home from the committee meeting. Did it go well? Yeah, we're running a poll about changing the name of the village. Beckendale's now associated with tragedy. And we're going to reinstate a Butterworth ball. What's that? Cricket trophy. We're forming a village team. Well, don't count on me. Yeah, um... Is this the work you're doing for Zoe? Yeah, I've got it all done. And you'll find my invoice in the back. This isn't what I had in mind, Chris. What's the matter with it? Well, the layout's not quite right. And the punctuation's gone a bit awry in a couple of places. Oh, come on, I spent all day on that. I think he's done his best, then. You'd have done better if it had been for your own business. You can't expect him to get everything right first time. Why not? Well... Because I'm disabled, that's what you want to say, isn't not it? Not at all. By not saying it doesn't mean it's not true. I think it's fair enough to make allowances. Well, I don't. I'm paying a professional rate and I expect a professional job. Here, yeah, I'll come back for them tomorrow. See what you can do. So... And I want to be given something you can be proud of. You shouldn't be so hard on Chris. Not hard. Just treat him like a normal person. He isn't a normal person. That's where you're wrong. How would you like to be treated like some sort of freak just because your legs don't work? Just... How can you say that? Your brother is paralysed. You behave as if that's all he was. Like he's not a person anymore. It doesn't help him to pussyfoot around as if he's going to break. Look, why don't I? You can still give him work. I'll pay for somebody to help him. You know, sort of secretary. Just to check his work. So Chris will go on feeling helpless. Dad, you can't buy your way out of this one. I'm doing it for Chris. No, you're not. You're doing it for you because you can't come to terms with what's happened. But Chris has to. He has to make a life how he is, not how he'd like to be. And the sooner he starts, the better. 